I'll be reacting to listeners episode 8 and I'm starting my reaction from the 7 second mark in 1, 0, go! Alright, I'm really pumped up for this one. Hmm. Oh. Looks like she's ready for business with that face. <laughs> Oof, that would be inconvenient if he was abducted, though. That's not that bad a week. Oh, talk about some plot convenience there! Or should I say plot inconvenience, considering that From the pre- oh. Ah, you know, if I didn't know what was gonna happen with our sweet little Moobin going berserk due to the circumstances regarding all this, I'd be like, all right, this guy, he's making a good impression. But, considering that I do, well, not just me, but everyone who's watched the last year since then, we all know that somehow Moo's gonna go berserk. Oh boy, I actually wonder <laughs> what's gonna happen next. And that actually makes that man that some um, touching uh, Moo's hand much, much more interesting. I hope, well, this dude gets pulverized though. <laughs> But yeah, already this has definitely got one of the most tense starts for uh, a listener's episode so far. Okay, we get to see Prince look alike, this dude, uh, the red haired chick. Hmm. Oh man, it's really sad seeing the light though in this bro. In the opening, especially with the way they died. Damn. Probably trying to soften down of the guard of Mu. With the whole calling her a princess and all that kind of stuff. That's how it usually works in anime. Actually, nice to get to see a bit more information on the air list there. Hmm. And also in regards to the setting, too. It actually helps raise the stakes exponentially. throw away the last hope line casually like that, but hey, I dig it. Okay, at the very least that confirms it, finally. I mean, yeah, they always gave implicit details that she was Jimmy's sister, but it's nice to actually get 100% details on that. It's really a shame regarding how Jimmy was treated there. 
With pretty much just everyone screwing him over simultaneously at once. Maybe he, had, <clears throat> maybe he had a change of heart and he didn't want to... Huh? Huh? Whoa, 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 what the fuck? How would they know that, though? That's the question. <sighs> hmm. Then I let the release explain to the Jimmy outfit she's wearing when she goes berserk. Although, uh, some, although in my comment section, someone did mention that the, a potential theory could be that the chick at the end couldn't be a Moo clone somehow. So I guess I'll keep that in mind. And another comment mentioned in my previous reaction that, that it could also be potentially Jimmy Trent that, can, that somehow transformed into a woman. But going by all this, those theories are probably going to be scratched out because it's seeming more and more and more that that's going to be, that Moo was the chick at the finale of episode five, um, 7. I can talk about some extreme patients. Oh, <laughs> the question is though, if she does remember her name, I wonder how that's going to affect your emotions for Echo. So yeah, some pretty looking backgrounds there. Hmm. Dang, I'm making me hungry looking at that bacon and eggs. Jeez. Probably think that the connection. Hmm. Oh, that's what she's worried about. No, I think I know where Rumi's coming from. If, say, the person she was before is a bad person that caused a lot of chaos and harm. That's what she's probably deep down worried about. And that's what she's meaning to say to Mu. The thing is, though, Mu is usually not... I mean, not Mu. That's what she's saying to, saying to Echo right now. And the thing is, Echo usually doesn't pick up on nuances and all that. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at the very least, you'd think Echo would be showing a bit more emotional support. Hey, she does look pretty in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
We should go for a compliment. Oh! Dang it, Echo! <laughs> Should've just gone for at the very least saying it looked good, at the very least! <laughs> Yeah, at least he's not denying his weirdness. Okay, this motherfucker's everywhere. Hmm. That's good though, at the very least we're seeing Echo actually getting used to different working environments as the series progresses, so feel like that kind of stuff, how they're building it up to be slowly into a master mechanic. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, it's pretty cute. Yeah, she was actually got right into it, and that's... Huh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty mean! Aw, that's cute. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna ask for his autograph? Is that what he's gonna do? I wouldn't be surprised if he does. <laughs> I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it because he did... He very much did the same thing when he saw the three sisters. He immediately asked for the autograph and since he appreciates Jimmy more than those... Sisters that were in the book, it's natural he'd go for the autograph. That's how I was able to predict it. Okay, actually, really ridiculous. I actually want to see real bonding between the two. See them actually do activities together. Hmm. Kind of sounds like a pain. <laughs> I love that cute confidence. Hmm. Oh, I like how you see our cute little uncle there. It's blushing. <laughs> hmm. I don't like that. Seems to have a thing that despite. At times, surroundings being pretty, pretty dire. As long as there's something like love, it can make things really better. So that's actually a cute little message there with that play. Yeah, we've actually never really discussed. Yeah, they never really discussed what they're going to do after that. Wait, I mean, I guess Echo not thinking about that's not surprising. Oh, he's hitting the nails in the coffin there. Hmm. 
Exactly. He's telling the boy needs to learn that. <laughs> yeah, you should. He, it's not too late. Can still say that. Oh, okay. Okay, since he's talking in the past tense, I'm assuming he never got a really a chance. Oh, that's cute to see how much trust she's got in him. And he's gonna have to live up to those expectations. I mean, Echo, he's gonna have to. She's a natural. Hmm. Oh, those three motherfuckers. How did they even get in there? I mean, I guess since they're players, they probably have a lot of connections. Oh, man. Just seeing all this optimism and hope, it's going to be sad when she turns cuckoo crazy, though. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh. Oh, this. Okay. These little bitches. So, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? You know, that's intense. That they're utilizing the teen spirit, and that actually makes the school episode a lot better. It makes it better retrospectively because the seer actually on the influence of that that puts it all into perspective oh fuck well that okay that 100% disposes the theory that that chick was Jimmy I mean, that person was Jimmy. That's definitely me when it comes to the theories in the comments section that I had in my previous video. Or the clone theory. Completely.
Traum. Oh, okay. So that actually puts it all into perspective then. Okay, I did not expect Mu being near this all this time though. Yo, if I see a dark purplish aura, I'd be freaking scared. I would not be all humped up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh, dang, she's back in that much power. I mean, even if Nier wants her payback, how in the fuck is she going to deal with anything? <laughs> how is she even be cl getting close to Moo? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I'd be kind of pissed at fucking Tommy, too. Uh, nah, Tommy's on fucking drugs. Okay, that doesn't even seem like love. That seems more like fucking hate. I mean, fucking manipulating someone's will. Not even giving them the full applications of implications of what they're doing. And then trying to pass it off as, oh no, yeah, this is Jimmy. Yeah, that is on some horseshit. I, I hope Tommy gets fucking eviscerated. I hope. Special with manipulating Moola like that, that's pretty fucked up. I like the ED though, I dig it. It's got a cool visual style. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. Pretty cool visuals too. You gotta say overall. I don't even like how they're taking some scenes from the episode and inverting the coloring a bit. I like how with Tommy, you see just the buildings burning in the background, just representing the sacrifice he's gonna do just to try to get the new Jimmy vessel. Nice uh, bit of symbolism there. And actually seeing all those happy moments that Moo had as of Echo, right before things go super freaking crazy, actually makes made this episode have a lot of emotional impact. Oh my. <laughs> it's like shit's gonna go crazy in the next one. I gotta say, uh, this one was actually one of the better listener episodes. It's been on a roll ever since the previous episode and this one. I feel like it's finally found an identity for itself. So I can dig it. I can dig it. Now, as for what type of rating am I going to give this episode overall, I think it's worthy of a... Let's see. I'm going to give this 9 out of 10. Because for one, you get some Echo and Moo bonding. Two... You get, at the very least, Echo becoming self-aware of his, at least somewhat self-aware of his feelings for Moo. Even though he hasn't acknowledged that he has a crush on Moo, because let's just be real, he does. The boy, 
just ain't noticing him yet. At the very least, he has some nice words to say in regards to it doesn't matter what type of information she's gonna find out, she'll always be mood to, to him. So that was actually really dang cute there. And on top of that, I like how this episode shows you how much she really appreciates Echo when she says that the name Moo is something that's precious to her. So there were a lot of good, cute sequences and great character moments there. And that's why I thought this episode was 9 out of 10 worthy. A lot of character development for Moo and Echo. Animation art was pretty dang good. And on top of that, this episode was tense from start to finish. And the voice performance is dang good. And that's why I loved it. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Rate the bid, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more because I'll definitely be reacting to the next episode. And be sure to share the video because for some reason my videos aren't even being put in the search results when it comes to the Soccer Wars, the animation reaction, and another reaction I did. So please share it, rate the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. And thank you all for watching my video and have a great and safe day everyone. Bye bye.